one question for you. What do you stand to gain? His house, his money, or cars? I have told you several. I will repeat myself. I was only defending myself. Defending yourself from what? Oh yes, I know your type. You murdered that man so you could sit on his properties. But I'm sorry to disappoint you, sweetheart. Oh yes, I'm sorry. For I will make sure you spend the rest of your miserable, sorry life in prison. That is if, and only if, you escape the capital punishment. That's not for you to decide. Oh, 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 oh. You see how much to speak, right? You are still proving tough, right? We shall see how far you prove this innocence of yours when this case gets to court. Just sign a statement of confession that you murdered a young man and save us all the stress of going to court. Because one thing is certain, you will not win this case. So for the very last time, did you kill him or not? Don't answer that. On board. I am Barrister Elfrida Morgan, and this woman here is my client. So please, gentlemen, if you don't mind, I would like to have some private time with my clients, please. I said earlier, I am Barrister Elfrida Morgan, the co-founder and president of Voiceless Women Sierra Leone, VWSL for short. VWSL is a non-governmental organization formed specifically to cater for women who have suffered any type of abuse in Sierra Leone, be it rape, child abuse, forced prostitution, slavery, domestic violence, and so on. Thank you. Barrister. Elfrida Morgan. But you can call me Frida. Well, thank you, Frida. For your timely intervention. However, I don't have money to pay for your services. Oh, pardon me, I'm sorry I left that part out. My services are free. You will not be charged a cent. Whatever I am going to do for you or I have done for you is free and it has already been taken care of by the foundation, so you don't have to pay me anything. Yes. The only thing I need you to do right now for me is to sign this power of Athony, giving me full rights to act on your behalf. Just take a moment to go through it before you sign, okay? murdered my brother and yet you want to live in the same house you murdered him it's not possible it's not going to be possible now you better leave or i will kill and feed your carcass to the fishes in the river please look i don't have anywhere else to go stop me please but don't draw me out and tell me about me brother killer please 
She's still a little girl. Please, let's try to accommodate her. Besides, she did not kill our brother. Her mother did. How could you Please. say a thing like that? No, no, no. Are you serious? Tell me. Don't you know that the daughter of a killer will most likely become a serial killer? No, 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 no. She Don't you know she, that? She will not. All right, then you listen and listen. Good. I am now the head of this family, and my decision is final. Oh, uh, no. no. You. No. What are you still doing that? No, please. Please, please, please. And you, if I ever see that daughter of a murderer in this house, near this gate, anywhere around this vicinity, you will be fired. One more thing. I am now your new boss. If you ever disobey me in this house, I will throw you back to the gutters where you belong. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Am I? Yes, sir. Nonsense. I'm sensing serious problem in this house. Very serious problem. Someone is still an upcoming boss. He's doing like this. Eh? He's not boss yet, too. What if he becomes boss? What will happen? He, this one is telling me, sack me, sack me. Hmm. I am a child of destiny. This is not how it used to be. I wanna tell you my story oh, yeah. All my tears are run on track My memories we know the answer I know there's something great inside of me Someone I say you're my I'm a child of destiny Someone I say Tears are running dry. That was how it happened. Barrister Freedom. It's going to be very difficult. But I think we have a case. My only concern is my daughter. I worry for her safety and well-being in that house. It's been it's been over a week since I have been locked up in here and I have not heard 
anything from anybody about my daughter. So, please, Barrister, I want you to please help me and go to that house and take my daughter away. Please, take her, take her to any orphanage home where she will be safe and well taken care of. Please. I will do just as you have said. I will not take your daughter to any orphanage home. What's my home? Until this case is resolved and your freedom is attained, she will be with me. Stop crying, please. Thank you. It's okay, it's my pleasure. How did you, how did you know that, uh, how, how did you find out about my case? Oh, a female police officer working in this division told me about it. Oh. I'll be on my way now, I'll see you again soon, okay? You. Just take care of yourself. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Sister-in-law, how you day? What? Brima dead? How? When? Stop to death? Oh my goodness. in the mood for that now. Please allow me some rest. Come on, no. Darling, you can see that. 
Okay, you, you, you can't say that. How can you not be in the mood? No. You have to be in the mood. I'm your husband, okay? I need you now. But I don't need you. What? I need some rest. If I cannot get this in my matrimonial room or my matrimonial bed, then I go get it in the guest room. I promise you this will never happen again. Okay, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You said that three nights ago. You said that same thing two weeks ago. You've always promised me, or failed to keep to your promises. Must you always beat and rip me whenever I'm not in the mood? Babe. I'm tired. I mean it this time, okay? I can even sign an undertaking that if I do or commit such act again, let the police arrest me. I do, I do. I'm truly sorry, okay? Because this is not me. 
I don't know where all this violence is coming from. But I promise you, I am a changed man now. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? May so rest in peace. I am a child of destiny. This is not how it used to be. I want to tell you my story. All my tears are run on track. My memory we know the answer I know there's something great inside of me Somebody say you're my I'm a child of destiny Somebody say you're my My tears are running dry Where is that stupid git man? Are you asking me? Okay, I will deal with him later. I'm here to see the person in charge now. You're here to see the person in charge? And uh, who are you? Oh, I am Barrister Elfrida Morgan, co-founder of the Voiceless Women Sierra Leone and also Fatima's attorney. Okay. Follow me. You have to wait here. Oh, okay. I am a child of destiny. This is not how it used to be. I want to tell you my story. All my tears are run on track My memories, we know the answer I know there's something great inside of me Somebody say you're my I'm a child of destiny Somebody say you're my My 
tears are running dry. I am a child of destiny This is not how it used to be I wanna tell you my story All my tears are run on track My memories will not answer I know there's something great inside of me Child of destiny, somebody say, my tears are running dry. Are you here to see someone? My goodness. I've been here for over 45 minutes now to speak to whoever is in charge. The gate man went inside to bring someone, yet nobody showed up. I'm so sorry about that. Brother Kayla! Uh, sorry about that. I have been on the phone sorting out a few things concerning my brother's business. So tell me, how may I be of help? I'm here to see Binta, the daughter of... The daughter of Akila. Excuse me? You are quite excused, my dear. Listen, I will just save you some time and go straight to the point. She is no more living here. How do you mean? Exactly what you heard. She does not live here anymore. I sent her out. I cannot live in the same house with the daughter of a murderer. If you don't mind, I have some very important calls to make. Hey, you! Open that gate! I said open that gate for our guest. Her time here is over. Hey, will you shut up? I'm in charge now. Here's the gate. Look what you've done. Yeah. Look what you've done. Shame on you. Look what you've done. Make no mistake. Oh, oh, oh. 
such a big disgrace. And you, come here. You were never gonna be what you're never gonna be. Boss, where did you go to earlier when that Chad and Bell lawyer was here causing nuisance? Sorry, boss. Um, I was in a meeting with seven heads of state. Uh, His Excellency, President Madabio, who was there. And uh, President um, uh, um, um, President Obama, who was also in that you meeting. shut up. Do you know the road to State House? Yes, boss. I said, shut up. I can see you are tired of walking here. Oh. Listen, if such nonsense repeats itself again, you will see what I will do to you. Fool. Will you get out from here? Get out! Yeah. What have you done? Big, big return. Yeah. What you've done? I cannot put myself together! 
My only child! Minta! My daughter! My daughter! Yeah. My world! Everything! Everything I've got! He's missing! yourself together. <laughs> you know, your case has been charged to court and your first appearance is on the 17th. Yes. Yes. You have to be strong. I am not saying you shouldn't think of your daughter. And because she's missing, it shouldn't weigh you down. No, that's not what I'm saying. But it should build you up in strength. Because I know that you'll see her again. We will find her. We will find her. Stop crying. Put yourself together, please. How do you think she will feel if she sees you broken like this? There is hope. Don't cry like there is no hope. I am here. I am here to support you. I am here for you. Trust me. We will find her. And this case will be resolved. Be strong. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. Your daughter is not dead. Trust me, she's not dead. I don't want you to cry. Relax, okay? You were involved in an accident and then rushed to the hospital for treatment. That was about two weeks ago. And since then, you have been in coma. I. I. Relax, relax. Everything will be fine, okay? Um. Can I know your name? What is your name, little princess? My name. Yes, your name. My name. What is my name? My name. So, so. See, after a few tests we've conducted on her, it was diagnosed she suffered retrograde amnesia. Re Recto what? Retrograde amnesia is a type of memory loss. 
we are in patience. We are unable to recall events or information learned before an injury. It could be permanent or temporal, okay. but in her case, let's hope it's temporal because she did not suffer any severe injury. Jesus. Oh. Doctor, can she remember anything? I mean, the event that took place after the accident? Of course, she will. Okay. You have been taking care of her for about two weeks now. Sure. Yes. Uh, looking at the current state of her mind now, all she needs is for you to take good care of her. Okay? Okay. Take good care of her until she regains her memory and trace her family back. Doctor, I don't think this girl has a family. Because if she does, she won't be seen running on the street at that time. And nobody has come looking for her since then. Let us not jump into conclusion for now. I think uh, she's in a better position to explain once she regains her memory back, okay? So when could that be, doctor? Well, there is no time frame for retrograde amnesia. All she needs now is time, okay? Just um, take her home, make her comfortable, take her out. With time, she will be okay. Okay, um, so, Doctor, uh, are you saying she is well enough to be discharged? Exactly. She doesn't need the hospital bed now. All she needs is the comfort of a home. Doctor, you and I know that I no longer stay in fairy town. I only come here based on work-related matters. So what if our family comes looking for her here in fairy town while she stays in Waterloo? How would that be possible? How can they be able to find her? Well, my friend, worry not about that. What is important now is her well-being and comfort. So that uh, she will recover fast, okay? Okay, doctor. Um... Oh! Number FT 58963A, the state versus Fatima Jabati on the 17th February 2021 at about 2 p.m. Police detective Moses Jimmy reported the murder of Brema Kamara at his residence of number four Signal Hill Road, Congo Cross. The case was investigated by Detective Jimmy and ordered to court by the Director of Public Prosecution. The accused pleaded not guilty at the appearance hearing. Honorable Judge Bonkare Lavalle presided. For the sake of clarity, read the charges again and enter her plea again. Yes, Your Honor. Fatima Jabati, in violation of Chapter 3, Section 16, Subsection 1 of the Sierra Leone Constitution, you have been charged with one count of first degree murder. How do you plea? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. 
councils, introduce yourselves and opening statement. Thank you very much, Your Lordship. I am Barrister Phil Jones, prosecuting counsel. Your Lordship, gone are the days when anyone will take the life of another and claim its self-defense. Gone also are those days when the person would brutally stab through the heart of another with the intent to kill and go scot-free. Your Lordship, on this crime scene where the murder weapon, a bag loaded with 40,000 US dollars, I repeat, loaded with 40,000 US dollars. On that sad day, the deceased was supposed to travel to China for a business deal. But he couldn't make it all because he was brutally murdered by the accused with the intent to take his money and flee. But then, Nemesis caught up with her. I think with this few submission of mine, your lordship, I'm in support of the motion of capital punishment should the accused is found guilty. Thank you, Your Lordship. Defense Counsel. Your Honor, I am Barrister Elfrida Morgan, the co-founder and president of Voiceless Women Sierra Leone, defending Fatima Jabati. Your Honor, this is one of those thousands of abuse cases out there where men take advantage of weak and vulnerable women. On that day, the accused was in the kitchen cleaning when the deceased, who was dressed to travel out of the country, went into the kitchen to forcefully have sex with the accused. The accused refused to be abused in the kitchen. So, the deceased tried to force his will and started strangling the accused. Your Honor, amidst the cures, struggling to save her dear life, she grabbed a kitchen knife and stabbed the deceased. The prosecution here is painting a story as if the accused is a murderer. But no, she's not. She is a victim, a victim of circumstances. Your Honor, I am sure at the end of this trial, those two magical words will be heard, not guilty. Thank you. The court goes on recess till 1 p.m. child of destiny this is not how it is to be i wanna tell you my story oh, all my tears are run on track my memories we know the answer i know there's something great inside of me Child of destiny, somebody said, I'm not letting go. My tears are running dry.
I am a child of destiny This is not how it used to be I wanna tell you my story All my tears are run on track My memories will not answer Aisha, how are you? I'm fine, sir. <sighs> hey, Angel. Good evening, Auntie. Good evening. Aisha, this is the girl I told you about. Unfortunately, she suffered a minor memory loss as a result of the accident. Okay? Um, currently, she can't remember anything, not even her name. So I want you to take good care of her, provide everything she needs, okay? Yes, sir. Um, one more thing, please, treat her like my daughter. I repeat, please, treat her like my own daughter, okay? Yes, sir. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Okay, princess. Feel comfortable, all right? Okay. Good. So, Angel, would you mind if I call you Blessing? No. <laughs> okay, come, Blessing. Come, let me show it to you. Place your left hand on this Holy Bible and raise your right hand up. Repeat after me. I swear that. I swear that. The evidence I shall give into this honorable court. The evidence that I shall give to this honorable court. Shall be truth. Shall be truth. Whole truth. All truth. Nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Kindly state your name and occupation before this honorable court. I am Dr. Victor Abel. I'm a pathologist. A pathologist? <laughs> uh, what does pathologist do? A pathologist performs autopsy, dissecting the corpse to ascertain the cause, time, and manner of death. Dr. Abel. You did perform the autopsy of the deceased. Yes, I did. Can you tell this honorable court what were your findings? The disease died of four stab wounds, one on the lower abdomen and three to the chest, puncturing the liver and the heart. So what were her chances of survival in this case? The chances of survival was zero percent because the disease was unconscious for a while and passed out. In a nutshell, the disease could have survived the first stab. Yes. Dr. Ebel, you also acknowledged that the action of the accused was premeditated and intended to kill. Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. Answer the question. Yes, because the first stab was not fatal, but the other three was intended to kill. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Abel. Your Lordship, that will be all for now. No more further questions. Defense counsel? No questions for the witness, my lord. But I'd like to invite my client, Ms. Fatima Jabuti, to testify. Are you a Christian or a Muslim? Muslim.
I swear that. I swear that. The evidence I shall give into this honorable court. The evidence I shall give to this honorable court. Shall be truth. Shall be truth. Whole truth. Whole truth. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Please state your name and occupation to this court. My name is Fatima Jabati. I am unemployed and I am a widow. How well did you know the deceased, Mr. Braima Kamara? We lived in the same house for nine months. I know him to an extent. So, was he a wicked man? Objection, my lord. I will employ this honorable court to caution my learned colleague on her choice of words, as the question is no longer relevant in the present case. Thank you. Your Honor, I am only trying to know the personality of the deceased, Mr. Brian Camera. Objection overruled. So, I'll repeat the question. Was he a wicked man? In the beginning, he was a nice, kind-hearted, and gentle man. But later, he changed. He changed into something else. For the records, was he a wicked man? Yes. So, how did you meet the disease? Objection, my lord. Overruled. Continue. After my husband died, his people threw my daughter and I out of our home. They said that I am unfit for their brother. And they based they based their opinion on the fact that I grew up in an orphanage home. My daughter and I had nowhere to go. We took shelter in an uncompleted building while I worked in a food joint, a local food joint. As time went by, I became sick too sick to take care of myself and my daughter. It was my daughter who then began to take care of me. She was 11 years old. I am a child of destiny This is not how it is to be I wanna tell you my story All my tears are run on track My memories we know the answer I know there's something great inside of me Child of destiny, somebody said, I'm not a 
your tears are running dry. This is not how it used to be. I wanna tell you my story. All my tears are run on track. My memories we know the answer. I know there's something great inside of me. Somebody say you're my destiny. I'm a child of destiny. Somebody say you're my destiny. My tears are running dry. With you. you want to kill yourself? Hey. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. But why are you crying? Are you alright? Nothing, sir. I'm fine. Hey. Come on. You're not fine. It's obvious. Listen. You can tell me what the problem is, okay? I could be of help. Let's start with an introduction. I am Braima, and you are? Um, Binta. Binta? Now that's a very beautiful name, all right? So tell me, why are you crying, Binta? It's my mother. What about your mother? She's very sick. I went to my uncle for help, but he threw me out of the house. <sighs> wow. What a wicked world. Um, Pinta, why don't you get into the car so we'll go see your mother? Yes, I said, get into the car. So go see your mother. I know I'm a stranger, but I'm willing to help. I promise you. All right? So we're friends now. Do you? Tyrants are made. Oh, but angels are born. Make no mistake. Oh, it's such a big disgrace. Oh, you were never gonna be what you're never gonna be. 
If you're never gonna be You always gonna be what you always wanna be yeah. What you always wanna be yeah. Yeah. Good summer
He took me to the hospital where I stayed and received treatment for over two weeks. My daughter was with me the whole time. When I got discharged, he took my daughter and I to his house. Yes. Please, make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Henceforth, you two will be staying here with me. And I will provide you whatever you want. Okay? Your days of suffering are over. And yes, as for your late husband's younger brother, I will personally take care of him. I will show him to court on your behalf, I promise. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brahma. Thank you so much. Thank you so you, much. You really are God sent to my daughter and I, and we appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts, we do. Please, stand. Okay? Thank you. I, I have said this before. No, sir. Oh, Mr. Brahma. Just call me Brahma. I'm fine with that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Ah, Binta. I promise you by next week, you start school. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. You have time? Keller. <laughs> well, uh, this is Keller. Keller here is my younger brother. Oh. Well, Keller here oversees the day-to-day -day running of my company. Oh. Mamanda Merchandise Limited. Okay. Keller, they are now part of the family. I want you to give them every love, care, and respect they deserve. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Okay. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um. Keller. 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 Oh yes, Keller. Thank you, Keller. 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 <laughs> okay, guys. Let me show you to your room. Okay. Get. Let's go. Keller. Where is? Oh. 
Boss, good morning. Good morning, Lamina. How are you? When I'm boss, I'm fine. Oh. Welcome. You're looking so good. When I was, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Every well, time, Lamina, how are you? How are you? When would they start buying something for Lamina in this house? Eh? Uh, Every time, opening the gate, closing gate. Yeah, I like biscuits, chingon sweet, even sugar cane. They will not buy for Lamina. Only how are you? Ah. You. you must be Binta. Yes, and you must be Auntie Meta. Exactly. Uncle Brahma told me a lot about you. Oh, he did? Yes. Um, well, my brother said some nice things about you and your mother. Really? Yes. Now, speaking of your mother, where is she? She's in the kitchen. She's preparing a delicious meal for you. Really? Yes. Oh. Oh, here she comes. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, wow. Um, Binta just told me that you were making a delicious meal for me. <laughs> that was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> She's absolutely right. We're preparing a special delicacy for you and it's almost ready. Are you serious? Yes. I must have to leave my things here. <laughs> Follow you straight to the kitchen because I can't wait to taste that delicious meal. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, good morning, Brahmata. How are you? Very well, thank you. So tell me, how long are you staying this time? Brother, I'm done with my internship. Oh. Look at you. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Um, so I was about to... We were about to go drop. Binta. It's a first day at school, so... Uh, <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Peter. How are you? I'm just fine. Good morning. Good morning. Good How are you, beautiful? I'm fine. Ah, Peter. How are you ready for your first day at school? Good. She's excited. <laughs> she is. So, let's hit the road. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come, girl. Bye. Take care, Binta. Okay. She will. I'll see you. <laughs>
to be true. Brahma took care of us, like we were his own family. He enrolled my daughter in a school, took her to school every day and brought her back home. But that was not until when, when the nightmare began. To worry on Monday, he will pick you and drop you as usual. Okay, mommy. But mommy, you have to take me to the ice cream shop. Whenever we are coming back, he always buys me ice cream. So, ice cream shop, here we go. <laughs> Not today. Not today, my baby. I only came out with money to pay the tricycle. Ice cream is not full. You should be hungry. Hungry I for food, not for ice cream. Ice cream is my food. Peter. We're here now. We're here. Please, calm down.
man in my house. Bruno, what has come over you? This summer, what have you done? Everything, everything, from Pinta and I. And because we had no one to fight for us, he chased us out of our home. You, you. You had promised to fight him for us. You haven't, and I understand. I, I do. I'm not angry. But um, what we want is for you to forgive us. Forgive us if we have we have upset you in, in, in any way that we do not know of. Please tamper justice with mercy. We're sorry. Please. You, you and your siblings have come to be the only family, the only family that Binta and I have. Please. Please forgive us. Grandma, we want you to be happy. Tell us what we can do to make you happy. And we'll do it. We want you to be happy. homework with Ramata. Oh, oh yes, I, I remember I saw them together. Well, Fatima, remember when you, when you were begging, you promised to do whatever it is to make me happy. Yes. <laughs> good. I remember. Good, good. Uh, now's the time. I need you. 
to do what for you? What do you mean to do what for me? Are you a child? I need you as in, I, I need you. But yes, it's time to, to prove your words. Hey, you promised to me. No, 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 I am, I'm sorry when I said I would do anything to make you happy. Sleeping with you is, is, is not, is not in any way what I, I had in mind. No. No. B -b Besides, I am a widow. Like you know. You and I are not married. And according to the customs and beliefs of my people, until I finish mourning my husband for a year, no man is allowed to touch me. What bloody customs and beliefs are you talking about? Where was your customs and beliefs when you were living under an uncompleted duty? Where was that custom and belief when I picked you up from the slums and put a roof over your head? Where is your customs and belief now that I'm spending my money to take care of you and your good for nothing daughter? Where is it? Where? You are unbelievable. With due respect, Prima, leave my room. In my house? I, I, I don't understand. You are asking me to leave my room in leave. my house. Please leave. Are yeah, yeah, you normal? I want you to leave. Leave this instant or I will I will push you out. Oh, now I see you've gone insane. You need a doctor to examine that head of yours. Because you've lost it. Alright? You need to get out. You need to go! You're pushing me. Now get out! He beat me so hard. He beat me to a point where I could, I could no longer scream. And then he 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 raped me. Brahma is the disease, right? So... So, would you have slept with him if you had finished mourning your late husband? No. No. And why is that? Because you were not married. So, what happened next? After he finished, Fatima! Listen. If you ever tell anyone about what happened here tonight, I promise you I will make life a living hell for you and your daughter. I will not only use my money and connections to send you to jail, I will also make your daughter my sex slave. <laughs> so don't dare me. I'm not a curse. So. <laughs> I'm only a woman created by God. Oh. Treat me. 
My friend, are you not done cleaning the car? Yes, good morning, boss. My friend, what are you doing here? Good morning, Uncle Burma. Do I look like your uncle? Huh? Do I look like your uncle? Why are you inside my car? Going to... Going to where? Shut up! Is this your father's car? Does it look like your father's car? Now get down. Little brat. Get out! What nonsense. Feels like darkness is covering my soul. And I can rise I can above you know, this wonder Every night I'm begging please Help me out, I'm sinking deeper And I don't know just what to do Cause I'm holding on physically But I'm losing grip spiritually What am I supposed to do? I don't know what's wrong with me What's wrong, what's wrong with me? Did you know what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me?
that was the last time my daughter wore a uniform because Brahma terminated her schooling that same day. He restricted our freedom of movement to just within the house and in the compound premises. We began living like slaves from that moment. What about the sex abuse on you? He raped me at least two to three times every week. It got to a point where I no longer resisted, fought, or argued with him. I only just lay down and let him have his way. So, were his siblings aware of what was happening to you and your daughter in the house? I think so. Uh, please, be specific. And they allowed you go through the cruel hands of the diseased. Objection, my lord. Sustained. Okay, please tell this honorable court what happened on the 17th of February, 2021. On that day, I was in the kitchen cleaning when he walked into the kitchen. He was to travel to China that day. But he said he wanted to have me before he leaves. I, I resisted and made to walk away. When he pulled me back, and began beating me. As if beating me was not enough, he began to strangle me. I managed to pick a knife and stabbed him with it. But despite the stab, he was still very much active. Active and determined to kill me. So, I stabbed him harder and harder till he died. No further questions, Your Honor. Prosecution, you are cross-examination. Thank you very much, Your Lordship. You just made an open confession before this honorable court that the diseased wanted to have you right there in the kitchen, right? Yes. Was anybody at home at that time? Yes. You also stated that. doing today? I'm fine, thank you. And you want to ask you a question? Yes, dear, go on. And see, for some times, I've not seen uncle with any woman. Doesn't mean he hates women. No. 
On the contrary, Mr. Nylinda was a happily married man with a daughter about your age. Was? Yes. What happened? The wife and their daughter flew in from London after spending the holidays. She called Mr. Nelinda when she arrived at the airport, but, she, but he was already at the meeting for a federal government contract he was pursuing for a very long time. He told her to wait for him at the airport for about 45 minutes. In all that excitement, since she had not seen her husband for a very long time, for let's say almost two months, she hired a taxi to bring them home. On their way coming, the driver lost control of his car and ran into a 40 feet trailer truck that was standing by the roadside. They died. It took over two years for Mr. Nelinda to recover. Since then, he has never been with any other woman, nor had a moment of joy into his life, until you came. So you say he has never been with any woman? So what are you? Are you a man? <laughs> oh no, I'm a lady. But late Mrs. Nelinda treated me like her younger sister. Two months after the accident, Mr. Nelinda settled me very well and asked me to leave. But I couldn't leave him in that depressed state. So I stayed back to take care of him. You're a very good lady. God will bless you. Amen. <laughs> As for you, my princess, I got this for you, okay? Yeah, I know you will like it. So let's go in so you have every bit of it, okay? Kindly introduce yourself to this honorable court. My name is Ramata Kamara, the personal manager at Mamanda Merchandise Limited. The deceased Mr. Brahima Kamara was my elder brother. How well have you known the accused? I've known the accused for nine months now. We were close. As close as you said you were. Did she tell you that she was being abused physically and sexually by the deceased? So tell me, and this honorable court here, what happened on the 17th of February, 2021? I was going to the kitchen to get some water when I saw the accused standing over the dead body, my brother, with a bloody knife. So what did you do? thereafter when i realized that my brother was dead on the floor i rushed out to call the police and they arrived the scene under 10 minutes wow splendid so tell this honorable court 
do you think the accused that you knew very well and so close you said you were both were will have the intent to kill your brother objection my lord objection overruled continue Yes. Thank you, Your Lordship. No more further questions. Defense Council. aware that the deceased stopped the daughter of the accused from going to school objection my lord that question once again is not applicable to this case at hand overruled thank you your honor do i have to repeat the question again Not at all. I believe he is going through some rough times now. My brother has not had a happy life for a very long time now. Everything about him is work, work and work until Fatima and her daughter came into his life. He has been happy, smiling and playing with everyone. But for him to beat up Fatima in the presence of her daughter and I, then something serious is going on. I pray we don't have a repeat of the old brother Brian Marcus. That will spell doom for all of us living in this house. I have to confront him. I must confront him before things get out of control. Shout in my house! Are you Fatima? Fatima! Fatima! Are you deaf? Did you hear me call your name? Are you mad? Now you listen. I have terminated your daughter's school. If you want her to go back to school, then you go call your dead husband to come back to life and pay her school fees. If you don't like what I just said, then you and your daughter can go back to the slums where I picked you up. Did you get what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? 
I thought as much. Why is your face like this? Is it not Brother Brahma? Uh, what about Brother Brahma? Have you not noticed? Noticed? Notice what? His sudden change towards Fatima and her daughter. Oh, that. <sighs> what do you mean by all oh, that? Because it's none of my business. Oh yes, it's not. And I suggest you better not interfere whatsoever. Listen, Brother Brahma is an adult, well respected. Hmm? He's a disciplined man. Of course, he's rich. For God's sake, he has every right to do whatever I want to do. As is to support him and oh, not ask no, stupid no. questions. No, 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 no. I am not going to support him on this. What has the poor widow and her daughter done to deserve such treatment? The other day he beat her up in the living room. Just last night he battered her again for God's known reason. He stopped Binta from going to school. What is Brother Brahma turning into? I will tell you one more time. It's none of my business. Oh. Brahmata, listen. Just listen. I mean, just listen. You better not interfere. Else, you will incur the wrath of Brother Brahma. I don't care. Like, I don't care. He needs to stop. Come on, if he's tired of taking care of them, he should let them go in peace. <laughs> and if I may ask, are they under house arrest? The answer is no. They are free to live whenever they chose to live. Hmm? I know you never liked them, and that is why you're supporting him in treating them. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. What's wrong with me? Like I care. Oh, did you know what's wrong with me? Feels like darkness is covering my soul And I can rise above this water Every night I'm begging please Help me out, I'm sinking deep But I would like to discuss something with you But I said I would like to discuss something with you and it's important Can that thing you have to discuss with me wait until evening? Or are you blind to see that I am very busy here? No, 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 brother. It can't wait. Oh. We, we must discuss it now. Very well. I'm all ears. Thank you, brother. It's about Fatima and her daughter, Binta. Brother, please consider your attitude towards them. The other day, you beat up Fatima in the presence of her daughter and I. You stopped Binta from going to school and just last night, you beat up Fatima again. Please, brother, if you are fed up with them, allow them to go rather than maltreating them in such dehumanizing manner. Brother, stop this path you are trading on. Otherwise, it will land you to the devil himself. How dare you? Brother, you stop How me! How dare you? Ah! Have you gone mad? Have you lost your respect for me? Uh. How a treat Fatima and her daughter does not concern you. Have you bothered to ask me why? No. 
But you had the temerity to stand before me and to publish. Have you forgotten who I am? I am not just your elder brother. I am your father, your mother, and every other thing higher that you can ever think of. I assumed the role of parenthood in your life since you were five. I gave you everything. I made you who you are. And all I demand is your utmost and unconditional respect. I am only going to forgive this insolence after you must have written 50,000 words letter of apology. Else, I will throw you out of my house and out of my life for good. Rubbish. You see where you have landed yourself? I warned you, but you never listen. Look at you. 50,000 words of letter of apology. Or oh, you will make use of that gate. Miss Kamara, were you aware that the deceased stopped the daughter of the accused from going to school? No, I wasn't. Okay. Were you also aware that he was physically abusing the accused? you have just said. Is that all you have to say? What do you want me to say? Eh? This is his house. He is rich. Not just rich, but very, very rich. He has every right to do whatever I feel like doing. If the person in question is not happy with it, she and her daughter can go back to the gutters where they came from. Oh, yes. Kenla. Where is your humanitarian heart? Why are you supporting evil? Grandmother, did she complain to you? Oh no, she did not. You know why? Because she likes it. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know how many girls out there that are craving for such an opportunity to have a rich man as our brother sleep with them? Do you? So, what you're saying is that what he is doing to that helpless woman is right. Well, absolutely right. It is, my dear. Ramanta. Why would you call a meeting outside the house when we can all be in the sitting room and talk about whatever you have to discuss with us? Brother Brahma. What I want to discuss cannot be discussed sitting inside the house. So what is this thing about? Brother Brahma, what you are doing to Fatima is wrong. I 
have been seeing you on frequent occasion sneaking into Fatima's room to forcefully have sex with her. What is wrong with you? Why the sudden change towards Fatima and her daughter? Why have you decided to change from the kind-hearted person you were to the devil? Have you gone insane? How dare you call me a devil? Have you gone mad? How does what I do in my house concern you? How? Are you listen? The very next time you open the goddamn mouth of yours to discuss this, you just vomited right now to me. Anyone outside this house, I promise you. I will throw you out of this house into the streets where I think you belong. Rubbish. <laughs> Now that was to remind you that you should never mess with me. You see? Look at you. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Where is your conscience, man? Where is your humanity? What have you done? Miss Camera, were you aware that the deceased was physically and sexually abusing the accused? No, I wasn't aware of such. I put it to you that you're a liar. Objection, your lordship. Sustained. Your Honor, no further questions for this witness. The court is adjoined to the 2nd of July, 2021. As the court pleases. Court! Mr. Nalenda is here to see you. I asked him to wait, and I also asked him if he had an appointment with you, but he said no. Okay, let him in. Okay. 
Okay, Dr. Kano. Here's the file you asked of. All right. So good to see you. <laughs> My good friend. You are welcome. How are you? I'm good. How's the family? Please, have a seat. Thank you so much. Yeah, good to see you. Same here, Dr. Callum. Yeah. How have you been? I'm okay, my brother. And how is the young girl doing? Oh yeah, she's doing well. Oh, you can't believe it. My house help gave her a name, Blessing. Blessing? Ah, that is wonderful. Yes. Um, Dr. Callan, she's the reason I'm here. I want to adopt her and make her my daughter. And I want you to help me achieve that. Yeah, I don't think that will be easy, considering her condition. Um, I know, Doctor. And that is the same reason I want to adopt her. You see, that girl has brought so much good and happiness in my house. Just two weeks ago, I, I was accorded a big contract by the federal government. Something I have been searching for over two years. Dr. Callum, that girl is truly a blessing. She is. Right, but that's just a coincidence. Um, you want to adopt her as your daughter. You need to take her to the relevant authorities in charge of adoption. Now they will ask you about the background of this little girl. You don't know much about her. And if they ask her, she cannot remember anything. Then what will you do? That's a very good point there, Doctor. So, I still insist you have to wait until she regains her memory, then I will help you to achieve your desire. Um, that is why you've always been my good friend. You're welcome. I'll do as you've said. Eh? Um, thank you very much, Doctor. It's all right. It's all right. Grateful. So, thanks thank for coming. Thank you so much. And I'll be on my way right now. Have a safe drive. It's a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's okay. I'm so sorry, okay? Thank you. You're welcome, I'm sorry. No, I should be the one to apologize because I wasn't looking where I was going. I'm it's sorry. okay, it's, it's, it's okay. I, I will say the same thing to you. Okay. I got distracted with my phone, all right? That's okay. Okay, no have a nice day. Madam, how may I help you? I'm looking for a little girl. She has been missing for some time. Maybe she was brought here. Little. A little girl. Yeah. Wow. Why not go to a police station to make a report instead of coming to a hospital? Well, I am a private investigator working with voiceless women, Sierra Room. I am the police. Okay, ma'am. What is the name of this person? Let me shake through the register. 
Let me know if you have such patients here. Her name is Binta Japat. Okay. Hold on, ma. We have so many patients here. Let me go through the way she's talking. I'm so sorry, madam. We don't have such patients here. Okay. So can I see any available doctor? The only available doctor now is preparing for emergency surgery. I don't think Q and A session is appropriate now unless you can wait. No. Maybe I'll come back some other time. Thank you for your time. Are you uh, why are you banging my gates like that my friend will you open this gate open this gate that was not the answer i was hoping for so let me ask you again who are you lamina open this gate else you will lose your job eh? lamina you know fit in fact because of this rubbish way you talk now eh i don't go open them show me power Lamina! Lamina! Okay, no problem. My friend, open that gate. Um, uh, boss, you... Will you shut up? I said open the gate. Lamina. The next time in your miserable life you try this nonsense again, I will make sure you regret it. Fool. I can't 
believe your mother is dead just like that. Murdered by a woman for that matter. Oh, that is how it is. Um, I want to understand, like, how did it happen? Were they, were they in some sort of um, disagreement? Were they dating? What happened? Are you asking me? To know. Come on, how do you expect me to know that? I am as clueless as you are. I would have bet my life that Fatima can never hurt a fly, let alone killing a human being. I'm in shock. He's gentle, so rest in perfect peace. Amen. Baby. No, I've missed you. Hmm? Um, what about the money you promised me the other time? Hmm? Are you serious? Are you? Because you are beginning to pull my legs right now. Why would I pull your legs? Do I look like a joker? I'm serious. Are you giving me the money, yes or no? I can't believe this. My brother was murdered in this house. His corpse is still lying at the mortuary. I called you the day he was murdered, but you never showed any interest. You didn't even call me to know how I'm very, or to even know how the burial arrangement is going. Now you, you showed up here without my notice, asking me to give you money. I can't believe this. And is that why you're shouting? No, talk to me, Kela. Is that why you're shouting, raising your voice? Eh? Because of money I asked for. I was in Bolton by then for something very important. After that, I traveled to Kenema for my project. Yes, your brother died. I am sorry. So should the world stop rotating because you lost your brother? Hmm? Stop making me look like the devil in all of this, please. You know what? You have heard me hold stage for a long, long time. Ever since I met you, it's all about money, money, money. When I give you money, I become your baby. But if I don't, you turn to something else. Now I can see it clearly that you do not love me. Oh yes, you don't. And if I continue to love you, I will end up killing myself just to make you happy. So. So what? So what, Kela? Get up. Get up and leave my house and never return again. This relationship is over. <laughs> Kela, now you're the one pulling my legs. <laughs> you're funny. You. Leave me. <laughs> Not in a million years. You lie. Lamina. Yes, boss. Take this thing out from this compound and make sure she never returns. And if by any means she found herself into this compound, she will lose your job. Kela, what's the meaning of this? Kela! Kela, don't you dare what her told Kela! Madam, madam, out. Uh, madam, out. Where could they go now? But see, I will rump you. If you dare touch me, I will show you why they call me Aminata. Go to then, Apoto Apoto. You will not do anything. See, let me tell you, the remote you were controlling, the battery has removed. If you do any I hear, I go give you good dirty bits. Oh, get that before I go bundle you out of here. You were there shouting at me. Point, point, me, 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 Lamina, pushing me. And see, if I, if I, if I slap you, go! If you touch me, ah. if you touch me, I go blow you. I go blow you. Go. Ah, ah. Lamina! Get out! Lamina! Get out! Lamina! Get out! Get out. 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 Get
Nggak tahu. Hey, Ami. Ami Nata, why is your face like this? Your brother threw me out of the house. Yes. My brother threw you out? No. This is unbelievable. Why? How? We had a little misunderstanding and he asked Lamina to throw me out. He lifted me like a bag of thrash and threw me out of the house. Oh. oh. This is like a news to me. Are you sure he was not drunk because Kela I know would run naked if you ask him to? Kela will swim in the pool of acid because of you. So what's changed? Time. Time changed, Dramata. Oh. Your brother is not the person I used to know. Oh. Um, okay, you know what? Follow me to the house. Let me talk on your behalf. Let me help him bring back his sanity, wherever he left it. I don't think there is any need for that. I would go home. I'll go to Kenema tomorrow and probably give him some time to cool off. Oh, are you sure about this? Very sure. Okay. No problem, okay? We'll see some other time. Just take care of yourself. Mm? You. Easy does it. Okay. So, how have you been holding up? As you can see, I'm still alive. Don't worry. I believe this won't be forever. Okay? I pray so. 
the search for your daughter is ongoing. Yeah. We have checked in all the hospitals, orphanage homes, and even mortuaries, but she's yet to be found. That is good news for us. Because it means she's still alive somewhere. Yes. If anything happens to her, I won't survive it. Don't say that. Nothing will happen to her. Maybe she's seeking refuge in the outskirts of the city. And that is why my team have extended the search to neighboring towns. We will find her. That I can assure you. Follow it up. We must not leave any stone unturned. Okay. Thank you. All right, bye. That was Sarah, the lady in charge of finding your daughter. She said someone called her, claiming to have vital information concerning your daughter. So you see, there is hope. hope for the best. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I love this. Come on. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is what befits me as the new chief executive officer of Mamanda Merchandise Limited. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Oh, 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 Ramatha, Ramatha, Ramatha. <laughs> My dear sister, God has finally done it for me. Just check this out. Check it out, my new baby. <laughs> this is my new ride. I mean, this is what befits me. Come on, come on. As the new chairman of Mamanda's Merchandise Limited. <laughs> Just check this out. This is what I call a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Brahma was murdered barely two months ago. His corpse is still in the mortuary. The murder trial is ongoing and you're here celebrating a brand new car. Brother Kela, where is your sense of reasoning? What do you think people will say? Come on, people can say whatever they feel like saying. Do you think I care? No, do you think I care about what people say? Listen to me. Our brother, I mean, our beloved brother was murdered. And since then, the company has been in operation. And it has been my responsibility, I mean, my sole responsibility to see that it's running and running well. It is ideal that I get myself something comfortable, something befitting. Come on, boy, why can't you just be happy? By the way, how did the cry go today? 
You should have been there if you wanted to know. Come on, my dear. Come on, Ramada. Be happy for your brother. Hmm? Be happy with me. I was at the office. Busy, I was very busy at the office, you know that. Hmm? My sweet sister. My beloved angel. The only goal that we have gotten. The lioness of our time. Come on, come on. Talk to me. How did it go? <sighs> well, nothing to say that will interest you except that the judge will give his verdict on Thursday. You mean there is coming Thursday? Oh, I can't wait to see the look on that murderer's face when she will be found guilty and sentenced to life in prison or even death. Oh, yes. Death. <laughs> what if she is not found guilty? Because she acted on self-defense. What then will happen? I am a child of destiny. This is not how it used to be. I want to tell you my story. All my tears are run on track My memories we know the answer I know there's something great inside of me Someone has saved the magazine I'm a child of destiny Someone has saved the magazine My tears are running dry Oh, uh, mother, did you find her? Not really, but the doctor that treated her gave me a name and a phone number with her address. No wonder I couldn't find her here. She's in Waterloo. Ha! Ah. <sighs> Waterloo. Ah, uh, madam, can't you call someone to bring out the kid? No, this is not a phone call matter. We must go there with the element of surprise. <laughs> Madam, I can't follow you to uh, Waterloo right now. I have some other things to do. Can't you just send to me so that I can go my way? you get your money once you find her. Yes, madam, I know, but at least now, nah, you know it's already weekend now. Nah. Just find me some more thing now, nah. eh? Yeah? Oh, it's not a curse, though. The woman, the can hide oh. Lordship. Chapter 3, Section 16, Subsection 1, 2 of the Syria Loan Constitution states that, and I quote, No person shall deprive of his life intentionally except in execution of the sentence of a court in respect of a criminal offense under the laws of Syria Loan, of which he has been 
convicted. <laughs> Without prejudice to any liability for contravention of any other law with respect to the use of force. In such cases, as are therein after mentioned, a person shall not be regarded as having been deprived of his life in contravention of this session if he dies as a result of the use of force to such extent as reasonably justifiable in the circumstances of the case. Your Lordship, the case before this honorable court is no longer a case of self-defense, but a cold-blooded murder. The accused stabbed the deceased the first time. Rather than take into her heels, no, your Lordship, she went on stabbing over and over and over and over again. Three deadly strikes to the chest. Your Lordship, I have so much faith in the justice system of this country. And with this few submission of my Your Lordship, I believe by virtue of your position as the judge, you would dispense justice as them fit as far as this case is concerned. To further strengthen the faith that we have in our justice system. Thank you. Your Honor. Prosecution here is trying to paint a picture that the unfortunate death of the deceased was done with intent and was premeditated. But no, that is not the case. The accused was only trying to preserve her little remaining dignity by not allowing the deceased to sexually assault her in the kitchen. In the process, the deceased got so angry and started choking the life out of the accused. She managed to grab a kitchen knife and stabbed him. And the deceased now realized this was a matter of life and death. So his grip became tighter and more tighter. At this point, your lordship, the accused was left with no other choice than to continue stabbing the deceased. She was only trying to preserve her life. So she continued stabbing him and she did that several times. Your Honor, the accused was in a vulnerable state and she acted accordingly. And I am very sure that at the end of this trial, those two magical words will overpower one. And that is not guilty. Thank you.